Welcome to a video about addition and subtraction. Addition looks like a little T, kind of. It's a plus sign. And subtraction is just a little horizontal line on the paper like this. It's important that you know what they mean. Addition is when we add two things together or more. So let's say I have two crayons and my uh, student gives me one more. I had two and added one more. So here's two and we added another. We made a bigger group. So our answer will typically be bigger. For subtraction, it's kind of the opposite. So let's say I have three grands. I start with three. And subtraction, you can also say take away. So let's say my student took two of them away. They're leaving. They took them away. Now I have one left. Subtraction means you're having less. Somebody is taking away from what you have. Now let's kind of look at our touch math and you can show your parents our touch math dots. Now it's very important that you notice some of the dots are just a dot, like the one. It just has one dot. Two has two dots. Three has one, two, three dots. Four has one, two, three, four dots. Five, one, two, three, four, five dots. When we get to six through nine, we need to be a little more careful. There is a dot and a ring. So six, we count one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to be very careful with this. Seven, there's a little nose, and then there's dots and rings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven has seven count points. Eight, again, dots and rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine has a little nose, just like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine has nine. Here's an addition problem, three plus two. First thing you do is look at the operation or the sign. Is it addition or subtraction? This is addition. We are getting bigger. We have three crayons. One, two, three. And somebody gives me, because we're adding, two more. How many crayons do I have all together? Let's count the crayons. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. Five crayons. Now, the other way that we can write this problem is the way that you've been seeing in class, three plus two. On this one, we just put the dots on it for you so you don't have to use crayons. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Three plus two equals five. Here's one with dots and rings. One plus six. Now the dots and rings, you have to be really careful to count a dot and a ring on that six. Okay, so we start with the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One plus six equals seven. Remember, we're counting bigger because we're adding. Now let's look at a subtraction problem. Now we have four minus or take away two. So remember you can do this with the crayons. We start with four. 
there's four. One, two, three, four. And somebody takes away two. So I'm going to take away one, two. How many do I have left? One, two. I have two crayons left. Now let's do it on paper. With subtraction, we count backwards. We get smaller. So we start at four, and then we count backwards like a rocket ship. Four, three, two. When I say count backwards, I mean 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are getting smaller when we count. And don't forget zero. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Let's do one more subtraction. Remember, subtraction is the same as take away. I start with 5, and you could put up 5 fingers, and you're going to take away 3 and put 3 fingers down. One, two, three. How many do you have left? I hope you have two left. Let's do it on paper and I'll show you. Five minus three. We're getting smaller. We have to count backwards. Five, four, three, two. Five minus three equals two. Practice these at home and talk with your parents about adding and subtracting. Keep practicing and keep watching this video and you, it will come together for you.